I want to talk a little bit about using uh, MIDI in LightKey. Uh, Light, LightKey has some really powerful MIDI features, um, but in, in trying to do a couple things, I talked to the team at LightKey, and they, they informed me that uh, LightKey was really designed to take MIDI in as an input. So you can like use Ableton to control your light show, uh, or you can have like a physical surface with knobs and buttons and faders to be able to control the program you know, with a, with a real physical surface, for those of you who like that stuff. Uh, what they didn't really design it to do is to send MIDI out to control other programs. Um, and this is a problem because, you know, I've, I've had a lot of requests from people who have like maybe an LED wall uh, and they want to trigger video content um, when they call up certain scenes or they might have a pixel mapping set up. So they're using like Media Master or something like that. Um, now, like he does send MIDI out, but according to the team, it's more so that like faders and knobs will update as you change values. So as I change this value on screen, my knob would like start kind of reflecting that change or my fader would move, that kind of thing. Um, but we can use this to our advantage. So we can use this MIDI output to do what we're trying to do. But uh, it takes a little bit of doing. So strap in. It'll be a fun one. It's not that hard, though, uh, overall. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make it so that when I change... Uh, when I select a cue here, it's going to trigger a video in ProPresenter. Now, LightKey and ProPresenter don't really talk, talk too well to each other. Uh, the reason is ProPresenter likes note on off commands, and you have to send those commands at certain velocities in order to select different videos. Well, LightKey, in a strange twist of fate, doesn't does send note on off commands, but it cannot send specific velocities. Um, so what we're going to do, just as a quick overview, is I'm going to send MIDI data out of LightKey into a third-party program called Bohm MIDI Translator, and then I'm going to have that send the, the proper note over to ProPresenter. So I'm going to set all this up. It's kind of exciting, uh, but it does work. <laughs> uh, so just follow along, we're gonna do it. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to create assignments for my cues. I want it so that when I click on a cue, it sends a certain uh, MIDI message out, right? So let's assign what MIDI messages we want those to be. So I'm gonna go up to Window on Light Key, uh, and then I'm gonna hit External Control, or because I like keyboard shortcuts so much, I'm gonna hit Command E to bring up my external control window. And you can see I've already got some assignments built here. Um, Basically, uh, when I hit this little plus button, it will add a new assignment. And then I hit this little uh, pencil, the little edit trigger, and it can send three types of messages. It can send note on off messages, control change messages, and program change messages. And again, uh, ProPresenter likes note on off, and so that's great, but you can't adjust the velocity on light key, so I can't use them. Uh, they don't do what I need for ProPresenter. So what I've decided to do is just go ahead and send control change messages, and we're going to send these to uh, my third-party program. So we have a, a message. We have to find what message we want to assign to each queue, and then we come and we select activate, deactivate queue, uh, and then we select the queue we want. So let's do this one for green beams because I haven't assigned that one to anything yet. Green beams. There it is. All right, uh, now notice it says, on these it says activate and this says toggle. We don't want toggle because what that's gonna do is every time I select the queue, it'll send a MIDI message. And then when I deselect the queue, it'll send that message again. I don't want that. Uh, I just want it to send the message when I activate, not when I turn it off, right? Okay, so once you've built all your assignments, um, I've got one for each of these queues on this side. Um, we want to make sure that we can pipe this MIDI out of the program to where we're going. Um, and to do that, Bohm actually creates a bus of its own. So let me go ahead and open up the program. Now, you can also use QLab if you have it. I love QLab. It's got an insanely good interface. It's really powerful, but it's also like anywhere from like two to four hundred bucks. I can't remember exactly, but very good interface. It's just a lot more expensive where you can have Bohm MIDI Translator Pro for $65. Um, it's a lot cheaper for this purpose. <laughs> so it's probably the more uh, economic choice if you, uh, if you don't have QLab already. So this is a trial version because I've been using QLab recently, but I'm going to show you how to set this up. So we're going to hit OK. Um, Basically, you have a, a list of like, these are kind of like presets, like cue lists, and then your translators you can think of as your cues, right? 
So I'm going to add uh, like five of these I think we have. And basically what these do, uh, you have an input and an output. So it's going to say when it sees incoming uh, a control change message, CC number one at value one, right? Um, it's going to produce an output. And what that output is going to be is the MIDI note that Pro Presenter needs, but we're not there yet. So we're just going to set up the inputs for all of these. Um, and we need to make sure that it's coming from the right place. So I'm going to select the MIDI port. I'm going to go to specific port. I'm going to, I'm going to say um, Bohm MIDI translator virtual in. That's where I want to listen for MIDI data. I want to listen on this bus right here. And then I'm going to come over to light key. I'm going to hit this MIDI controllers button here. I'm going to make sure that uh, my input is nothing because I don't want MIDI coming in. And output, I want it to go out to Bohm MIDI Translator 1. Okay, So it's piping the MIDI data from here. It's going out to the Bohm MIDI Translator bus. It's coming in to Bohm MIDI Translator, and this cue is listening for it uh, and that number. So control change 1, value 1, control change 1, value 1 for this. All right. So the next one's going to be control change 1, value 2. So I'm going to come here. Incoming control uh, control change <laughs> number one value one uh, value two I'm sorry this one's value two and again specific port well MIDI translator virtual in okay and I'm just gonna do that for the rest of these I'm gonna knock these out real quick so control change CC number one uh, uh, value three on a specific port, I'll just do the. I'll just do these four. Control change, CC one, value four. That's a three, four. Okay. Uh, specific ports. Bow MIDI translator virtual in. Boom. And lastly, control change, CC number one. Value five, specific port, boom, virtual in. All right, so now we have a translator set up for each one of our cues, uh, CC1, values one through five. And so now I can go ahead and click out of this. Now, every time I select a cue here, it's, good, it's sending that MIDI data over to Bohm. But we haven't set up our outgoing yet. So to figure out what we need to make this outgoing section, we're going to come over to Pro Presenter. Now, ProPresenter's MIDI module is pretty cool. Um, if you don't have it, if we go to Preferences and we go to Modules, it's going to be this one here all the way at the bottom. It's 100 bucks, but it's well worth it because it, it allows ProPresenter to set out, send out any MIDI message you want. It'll take in a note on off data, uh, and it really is powerful to start automating your system, so I, I recommend it. So I'm, I hit Demo Modules because <coughs> this is my personal computer. And it's going to start looking like this. So you're going to come to add a device and you're going to hit MIDI. <coughs> and then we got to tell, uh, again, tell ProPresenter where to listen for MIDI. And again, we want to listen for MIDI from Bohm, the program. So we're going to hit sources, Bohm MIDI translator. And we're going to make sure none of these destinations are clicked because we don't want to send MIDI out anywhere for what we're doing. Then we can hit connect. And now these programs are, la are locked in together. So what do we set our output? What does ProPresenter need to trigger what we want? Well, to if we come to MIDI setup, this is a list of all the functions that I can control in ProPresenter and the notes that are assigned to those functions, okay? So it has both the note number and the note name. So if I send it a, zero, a note zero or a C negative two, uh, it will clear all in ProPresenter. If I send it a C negative one or a MIDI note number 12, same thing, uh, it will go to the next slide. So the, the command that I'm interested in right here um, is this, trigger video image, note number 21 or A negative one. That's gonna be important to remember that letter name, not so much the number. Just remember it's an A negative one. No, I'm sorry, it's, it's the number that's more important, not the note name. So remember the number 21 is where we want to be. Now I can assign that uh, to any note I want. If I put a 50 in there, you notice the note name changes. So it can be anything that I want. Just assign it to the number that you want. We'll leave it at 21. It's good enough for me. Hit OK. And what that's going to do is if I send a note number 21 or an A negative one to ProPresenter, 
at any specific velocity, depending on the velocity that I send, it will choose different videos here. So if I send note number 21 at velocity one, it's gonna select the first video. If I select note number 21 at velocity 14, it's gonna select this one. Um, and so that's really important to know. Now, actually, there is one more step that I gotta remember because notice my backgrounds are sitting in the video image bin in a hot folder. So I need to make sure that I right click on that hot folder and hit select for communications. What select for communications does is it tells ProPresenter that, hey, this is the folder that I wanna reference when I send you MIDI notes, when I send you communications. This is the one I'm talking about. So we need to make sure we go to our hot folders, hit select for communications, and now that MIDI note will control this folder. That's really, really important. All right, so um, let's go ahead and clear all here and let's start assigning our outputs. Um, so for my first cue, Violet Dream, I need to find a Violet video in ProPresenter. And I think this one is good. What did we say this was, 14? Yes, yeah, seven times two, 14 um, is my Violet. So let's have the Violet cue trigger this one. So I'm gonna come to my translator here and I'm gonna set the output uh, as a MIDI message, note on number 21. And ah, remember how I said the note name is not as important as the note number? This one in indicates 21 as an A0, where ProPresenter was saying it was an A negative one. So that number is gonna be key. So we wanna make sure it's note number 21 because the names may not line up. And velocity, remember velocity, uh, it's video, what was it? 14, so velocity 14 will select the 14th video. So note number 21 at velocity 14. And then we need to tell it where that's coming from. So we go to specific ports, we want it to send out to Bohm MIDI Translator Virtual Output. Because that's, send, again, that's piping data over to ProPresenter and ProPresenter is listening for it on that port. So we've assigned that first one, it's coming in uh, from light key, this is sending out CC1 at value one. This is listening to it. It triggers this, which sends out our MIDI note to go to ProPresenter and trigger the video we want. So let's go ahead and clear all here. And I'll bring light key over side by side so we can see this happen. So now when I hit Violet Dream, boom, it calls up my Violet Dream video. Just like that, look at that. Not so hard, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and do the rest of the cues. Um, a turquoise, we need a turquoise. I think this is probably the closest thing I can find to turquoise. What is that, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So uh, 19, let's go to our this translator because this is the one that turquoise triggers. Outgoing MIDI message, note on, note number 21, because that's the one we want at velocity, what did I say? Did I say 16, 18, 21? <laughs> uh, let's count again, turquoise, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I need to make my velocity 19, boom. Just like that. Let's go ahead and test that one. Call up light key and pro presenter. And when I hit turquoise, uh, well it's already up, so let me, <laughs> let me clear all, I'll go back to Violet Dream. Turquoise. Oh, what'd I do? Let's check our values. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Specific ports. I gotta make sure that I'm hitting the port and going to the virtual out. Can't forget that step because it doesn't know where it's sending that note. So Bone MIDI Translator Virtual Out. And now when I call up light key and I hit turquoise. It still doesn't do anything. Okay, so we got Violet Dream working. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, did I route my input? It's good, live troubleshooting here. So virtual in, boom, virtual out, note number 21, at velocity 19. It's coming in control change. Up oh, there it is, CC number one, not 641. I don't think that exists. All right, so number two. Hopefully you're still following along here. Now when we hit turquoise. Ah, there it is. All right, yeah, just go back through and check step by step. Okay, uh, let's do the rest. Red, uh, we'll say that's pretty red. 
That's number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's come to our one we've already assigned. Check it, CC1, value three, okay. Right port. Outgoing, MIDI message, note on. Note number 21 is what we're looking for. At velocity. Did I, I, I keep forgetting my notes. It's a lot of numbers. Uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. At velocity, 11. Spist out to boom midi translator out boom all right now let's go ahead and clear this when we hit it red there we go turquoise violet dream awesome uh we got two more to, to assign so let's go ahead and assign the two more yellow lightning uh let's find a yellow video that's pretty yellow. Actually, I like this one for yellow lightning. Uh, let's see. That's <laughs> so let's see if I can count by seven. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, uh, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. So it's gonna be come to this one. Outgoing MIDI message. Note number twenty-one. Velocity, did I say 32? We'll find out. Virtual out. Boom. Uh, Pro presenter, light key. Let's go ahead and trigger it and see. Look at that, it works. So you get the idea. We'll do one more, because I have one more left. Green beams. Uh, this looks like, oh no, that's definitely green beams right there. It's a seven, 14, 13. So, Number 13, green beams will trigger. Um, so let's go to our last queue here. Green beams, outgoing, MIDI message, note on. Number 21 is the one we're looking for. Velocity 13, out to, boom, MIDI translator output. Boom, that's our last queue. Green beams, yellow lightning, green beams, turquoise, red, violet dream. All right, uh, so that's how you do it. Uh, that's how you trigger it. Now, if you're using Media Master or something like this and you just went through all this, the great thing about Media Master or most programs <laughs> uh, that you would use to trigger video other than Per Presenter, you wouldn't need to use Bone because you'd be able to send out uh, the data that you need over an IAC bus. Um, so if you're using Media, Media Master for a pixel display or something like that, and you don't, you're not familiar with IAC driver buses, you can either Google IAC bus on Mac and how to set that up, because basically that's all that Bohm is using is an IAC bus to port MIDI from one program to the other. Very simple process. Leave a, a, a comment below if you want uh, me to walk you through that, but. Uh, really, most of the questions I've gotten recently have been about Pro Presenter, so uh, I decided to do that tutorial specifically about it. So I hope that clears things up, uh, and I hope that makes your lighting and video transitions much better. Um, enjoy it. That's all for me.